This is going to be the single most impactful video to your learning of Warhammer 40,000 experience that you will ever have. Pay attention, absorb it, use it. You will get so much value out of this video. You'll feel like you're ready to conquer the entire world. One of the most beautiful things about this lecture that's about to come out, which I'm exceptionally proud of, by the way, is this will actually apply to all aspects of life. However, we're focused on Warhammer today. Let's get crumping, everybody. For those of you who don't know who I, uh, who I am, my name is Jonathan Arkin. Actually, my side gig is I just teach neurology to postgraduates on the side. Yeah, it's just a, just a little thing that I do. So what I figured I'd do is I'm going to actually take a educational uh, perspective on this video, and I'm going to teach you guys how to learn Warhammer specifically and sequentially via learning and teaching theory. This is a very fast video, so you don't need to zone out here. This is incredible. It's going to impact actually every aspect of your life, even though I am obviously focused on Warhammer here. So when we're talking about learning, we're going to we're going to go through all the learning stages. We're going to go through teaching stages, and we're going to learn how to accumulate knowledge and wisdom. And we're going to teach especially how to apply this to the game of Warhammer 40,000. So this is the very first one. Let's go right into it. Learning theory. When we are learning, there are four categories of actually learning your skills. You have, first off, you have to have the desire. So once you have the desire to learn Warhammer, what do you do? Well, you open up the core rules and you read them. Or what you do is you go onto YouTube and you look up someone who's some talking head who's like, hey, this is how you play Warhammer. It's very exciting. <laughs> Regardless, the first thing you have to do is you have to have the desire to actually learn. The second step is knowledge accumulation. So that's what we just talked about. That's when you go onto YouTube and watch someone. That's when you read the core rule book. That is knowledge gathering. That's where you get the actual knowledge. The third step in learning is the application of said knowledge. This is now you're actually playing a game. You're making decisions. You are applying that knowledge. And then the fourth step to learning, and this applies to literally everything, but keeping it Warhammer focused here, the fourth step is understanding. Understanding why you're making certain decisions on the tabletop. This is actually a very, very high level skill that most people never really, really learn. One of the big things that I see from all of my coaching clients and all the members of my Discord who are still struggling is that people are not asking them the are not asking themselves the question of why are they doing something? Now, apply this to the rest of your life. Would you ever ask yourself why you are, I don't know, asking your wife to marry you? Are you ever going to ask yourself why you're doing something? Well, of course you would, because that's how you apply what you've learned, all the aspects of learning in your life. We just need to take that and apply it to Warhammer. This is learning theory. Let's talk about teaching theory. Teaching theory. There are four stages of teaching. This is incredibly important. It is going to be tactics, strategy, principles, and essence. What is a tactic? Well, let's do that in a long format because this is actually going to be a lot more critical than the last stage. Okay. How do you learn tactics? First off, let's identify what tactics are. What tactics is, is what to do. That's basically it. You just say, what are tactics? Tactics are what to do. And you can apply this in all aspects of your life. If you are a salesman, what do you do? You sell. And then there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of other questions of how do I sell? What are, what, what are we going through it? But tactics are what to do. Well, what I need to do on Warhammer is I need to screen out my tabletop so that you can't deep strike and get really good angles at me. That is my tactic. I am choosing. This is what I need to do. Now, how do you learn these tactics? You learn books, you read books, you read your codex, you read your core rules, you go on YouTube. There's a lot of really great channels out there. Order of War does a good job. Trevi over on Tactical Tortoise does a great job. There are plenty of people out there who, to, who teach tactics. Our channel, Happy Cropping Wargaming, if I'm not mistaken, is probably one of the top notch places where you can possibly learn tactics. We have tons of information online and there's more coming on every single week where we are learning, teaching top level tactics. Not only are we teaching what the tactics are, we're actually teaching how to do them, which I'm exceptionally proud of. So tactics is you listen to teachers, you read books, you watch YouTube or whatever. That's how you get the information and then you learn what to do. That's your tactics. The next step, strategy. What is strategy? Strategy is when and why to do something. Now, this is where we start getting to that deeper level of our learning theory, where we start talking about the application. When you have strategy, you can take tactics, which is what to do, and you get to learn when and why to do it. So I have the tactic in my head. I know I have to screen my opponent out. But why do I need to screen here versus here? Well, that's because you can then take your knowledge saying, well, this particular unit has a th ability to deep strike within three inches of me. So I'm not going to bother screening because I really can't screen them out anyway. That's how you're using your strategy to apply your tactics so that you can use your resources in other aspects of the game. This applies to 
every aspect of life, actually, right? You always need to know why and when to do something. Now, strategy is a much higher level skill than just tactics. Basically, everyone who plays has tactics. They might not have the best tactics, but they have them. Strategy is something that high level players get. And how do you gain the gift of strategy? How do you gain the ability to apply strategy to your tactics in the game Warhammer 40,000? Well, this basically comes from only a few sources. You don't get it really from reading your books, although sometimes there, there, there might be some books that have some options on this. However, you're going to get this from your experience on the tabletop or TTS if you play TTS. Experience is going to teach you strategy very, very powerfully. This is where coaching is involved. When I'm coaching a client, What's happening is these are the people who are already pretty good. They have the fundamentals. They understand, or maybe they're, they're, they're still a little bit in the learning stage, but what they need to do is they need to learn why and when. That's something that's much more challenging to teach in video presentation. As a matter of fact, I, I have this written down. I say a very good YouTube is where you can learn strategy, but I got to be honest with you. There's not many out there. I do not see many. I do my best in my videos to teach the strategy. And you can see that. So if you go back and watch my videos on how to defeat fights first, well, in that situation, I'm, te I'm starting to get you into that strategy mindset because I'm like, okay, cool. We know that we have to charge this unit that has fights first, but why and when do we fight them? Well, we're going to fight them on our terms. So I'm going to charge this rhino in first so that when they use their ability to fight first, they can't actually hit the, the critical unit that we want to charge in, right? So that is teaching the strategy. So I do... I got to be honest with you, and I'm actually quite proud of myself. We teach strategy on this channel, and it is a challenging thing to do, uh, and, and I can't always teach the strategies. Many times I do only have to teach the tactics because strategy is a very individualized thing to teach to people. So that is where you get from coaching and exceptionally good YouTube. And there are a few other channels that do, up, do that out there um, as well, so I'm not crapping on those guys. All those people have amazing channels. So that is strategy. It's critical for you guys to understand this. The next level is how to learn principles. What is a principle? A principle is something that is self-apparent in its truth. This, In real life, this would be things like gravity. Hey, man, if you throw something up, things coming down. That is a principle of life, right? Or we, we, we would call it a law. Well, I, I think technically gravity is still a theory, but that's stupid. It's a, it's, it's a law. It's a principle. It's going to happen. Perpetual motion, entropy, the conservation of energy. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It can only be, right? Those are principles. What is a principle in Warhammer 40,000? Well, a principle in Warhammer 40,000, it might be a little bit different than in real life because in a fantastical world, we have differences here. Well, principles, this is where you really, really become super, super impressive on the tabletop because you start understanding things like, okay, how do I get line of sight? Because line of sight is a fundamental principle. If I want to shoot my opponent, I must have line of sight with the caveat that maybe I have the ability called indirect, right? So with that caveat, this is a fundamental principle of the game. What is another principle of the game? The fighting activation begins with the pile in. So if I pile in, you cannot interrupt me anymore at this point because I've already started my activation. So it doesn't matter what abilities you have. My unit will finish their activation once I start that pile in. So once you understand this principle, suddenly all the little strategies and tactics, which might sound confusing, will make way more sense to you. So this is principles. Lastly, we go on to essence. Essence, this is the highest form of teaching and understanding here. How do you gain the essence of something? Well, let's define essence. Essence is the thing that drives all other things in the world. It's the truth aspect. So in real life, this would be God or, or whatever you happen to believe in. That's how you would define it. I would define it as God. The truth principles of the universe that actually drive everything else. And the only way to get this realization is through experience, a stroke of brilliance. I should add belief. Now in Warhammer, this aspect, this essence that drives all of Warhammer 40,000, which you need to realize, and this will take your gaming to the next level beyond anything else, is you have to understand that the essence of Warhammer is the randomness of mathematics. This is the level of learning and teaching and strategy that people never grasp in Warhammer 40,000 until you get to the highest possible levels. And even at the highest possible levels, people mess this up. Oftentimes, you will see amazing players fluff a dice roll and have no backup plan. So I talk about this in my in, in, in our streams. I talk about this on the Discord. And I talk about this all the time in coaching. And so my coaching clients don't fall for this stuff. So what happens, right, 
is if I have a charge setup and I have a seven inch charge that I must 100% make, you know, mathematically speaking, or let's, let's call it a five inch charge. Let's call it a five inch charge. And you have a CP to reroll this charge with, you know, mathematically speaking, you've got a 97% chance of making that charge. But what happens if you fail that charge? Well, a lot of people don't care because like, cool, it's a five inch charge rerollable. I will make it. And they don't set up a backup plan and then they fail. And what happens? They lose the game. What we at Happy Crumping do is we set ourselves up in a position to get that five inch charge with a reroll, but then we have a backup plan in case it fails. If you don't have that backup plan, that's because you're not understanding the essence of the game, which is the randomness of mathematics. You have to have a strong understanding of mathematics, but you also have to understand that mathematics is on a bell curve. Let's say you have something that occurs 50% of the time. Well, that means 50% of the time it's not going to occur. And you can have under 50% of the time, 10 times in a row, depending on your dice rolls, because mathematics is random when it comes to dice. So once you understand this essence of Warhammer 40,000, that is when you will be a top level player. And that is when you are going to absolutely dominate the world. I would recommend all of you take this learning theory. Let's go right back to the beginning real quick. Let's go back to our teaching. Once you understand, in order to become a huge learner to learn all this, once you have your desire, your knowledge, you have, your, you have to have the desire to gain new knowledge. Once you gain new knowledge, you can get, get the application down. Once you get the application down, you can get the understanding. Then we move on to teaching. This is how we become great players. You teach tactics, which is what to do. Then we do the strategy. You have to understand why and when to do it. We go on to the principles, the principles, the fundamental truths of Warhammer 40,000. You must have line of sight to shoot with the caveat of indirect. You have the fight phase activation begins with the pile and maneuver. Once you understand these principles, then you can go on into the essence of Warhammer, which is the randomness of mathematics. That is the key to becoming the top level player around. That is the key that you need to understand so that you can be as successful as possible. And honestly, everyone, I know we're talking about Warhammer, which is like a, a silly fun thing we do on the side. This, <laughs> this silly fun thing that we do on the side, everything I just taught you today applies to every single aspect of your life, whether you're a doctor or a lawyer, whether you're a salesman, it doesn't matter. Absorb this teaching theory, use it in your life. You guys are going to be absolutely thunderstruck by the results. This is Happy Crumping Wargaming. I am so excited to see you guys all in the Discord. If you're looking for coaching, all that, all that stuff is linked down in the description below. Can't wait to see you in the next video. See you next time. Crump on.